guys, welcome back. It's Jeff as the Flash. We're at Miami, and this is my team round five. So the Miami circuit, race Miami quite a lot, and really, really enjoy it. This is obviously the Pirelli hot laps. This one in particular is you get two laps to beat the target times on the right hand side, and. Yeah, I just thought I'd show you this rather than show you qualifying because right now it's only round five. The car isn't uh, up the much. It really isn't. And unfortunately, with this being Miami, the straight line speed of that car just isn't here at all. It is what's known in the trade as um, not very aerodynamic. Power is there. Or should I say not there. Uh, the chassis is like a back end, like the, the dog's hind leg. But it's round five. It's to be expected, you know. Looking at the positives, we've got to stick positive. We've got to stay with it. We've got to keep going, keep rolling with the punches. Because who knows what might happen next race? Might get a cheeky safety car. You never ever know. But Miami, back to Miami. Um, I really enjoyed the circuit. This uh, part here is a tricky, tricky uh, chicane, which can throw the F1 cars um, right around, and that for me uh, spices is that spices it a level up. Tongue tied spices it up quite a lot. Uh, it's unfortunate though that the F1 cars, you know, the the Ferraris, the Red Bulls, the Mercedes absolute straight line speed is unreal and they just take off down the back straight but the plan of this race is thus Danny Ricardo is my rival Danny Ricardo is not going to beat me this race it doesn't matter whether I have to park the bus completely completely write him off that ladies and gentlemen is exactly what's happening Danny Rick is not getting past good news is though on lap one of this time trial, uh, managed to get a purple sector, a, a purple full track. So if it's purple, that must mean I am on course for a gold. We shall see. Um, really, really liking this car though. Uh, really, I just wish you had more freedom with the Pirelli hot laps. I wish you got to choose because. Um, I like the the time trial, what well, this uh, mode. I like the mode where you've got a load of um, gates that you have to go through, manoeuvre really, really quick. Really love this black series car. Uh, not too fast on um, where you have to do point to point. Uh, not too fast on that one where you have one gate and you have to stick in within a maximum speed. Um, I think the speeds are a little bit too unrealistic. I mean, goated players, Yano up me for one. He can do them, no worries at all. Uh, I just find them very difficult and cannot get any more speed out of the car. Um, but yeah, that's on me. That is not on uh, anybody else. As uh, I just picked up a track limit, which ain't great. But yeah, um, I never noticed that before. But the time does indicate at the top that I am on for a gold um, as I just clipped the wall and I got a purpose that me too as well but with that being said who knows but I really do wish we had the creative freedom with the Pirelli hot laps um, especially the choice of car as well because I would absolutely smash them no worries at all uh, I, the point of point like I said the point of point I would probably give a miss but the time trial one this one um, the one where you have to drive through all the gates, the drifting, I would absolutely do uh, if you could choose cars, um, but you don't get that choice. But I managed to get gold, no problem at all. Um, I say no problem at all. It was 14.1490 was the time. Five red lights, we are rare. As you can see, I qualified P16. I was meant to take. Uh, engine penalties uh, in this race um, I really was but I forgot <laughs> that is the long and short of it as you can see I absolutely smashed it into Ocon sent it big time uh, just making sure now that I've got no damage because I absolutely need to keep past and get past Danny Ricardo uh, and 
and as you can see from the line up on the grid, Danny Ricardo was uh, two spaces in front of me. I, like I said, I qualified P16, he was P14. But there's absolutely no way that Danny Ricardo can get past me today. So, my battle is with that orange McLaren of Danny Rick and no one else. Um, obviously, I'm going to try and hold as many cars up as I can. Um, but this is going to be a battle of attrition rather than an actual race. And whilst I can get away with uh, defending under breaking, I am going to try that as much as I physically can. Um, but the circuit is good. I really enjoy the circuit, and I think when the patch comes out for the AI, um, as you can see, the AI has gained uh, seven, eight tenths on me just in one bit of corners. And then obviously you have to put up with um, the other AI behind you gaining that same amount of time as well, which is phenomenal. Um, I'm going to have my work cut out for me this this race, uh, but I am going to try my hardest to keep those McLarens behind. Uh, really, uh, I, at the moment, oh just had to catch that massive slide from the front end uh, at the moment um, I don't know I, I kind of feel I kind of feel a little bit deflated with um, my team uh, not that the, the, this is this is this is my reason why I kind of feel deflated with my team um, AI, the AI before somebody says lower your AI what is the point in that but I do. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lower the AI. So, what is the issue? The issue is the AI are far, far too fast for um, the game. The, the the straight line speed is phenomenal. You cannot race them. You cannot catch them. Um, prime example right there. Ocon just gained six tenths to me in one corner just took off and he's gaining even more in straight line speed because obviously it's a my team car and it's only round five and the fact that they're able to do that makes it unfun in a state of three corners i have just lost um, i've just lost over 1.3 seconds in a spate of three corners as we move on to lap six, uh, I'm not too sure what happened to um, Sonoda, but as you can see, look at the time uh, Ocon uh, uh, has made. Yes, I know the strict line speed of the car isn't there, I know the aerodynamics of the car is not there, but you can't race them, you really can't. And it's that that is really, really annoying me. Um, it, it's, I understand that. Uh, it's not just my team either, it's in Grand Prix mode, it's in um, yeah, well, anything to do with the AI, it's not just in my team. Um, you, you know, you, you could go as a Ferrari uh, in a 50% Grand Prix and you would really struggle to um, to beat anyone because of the straight line speed that everybody's got at the slow corners. It's just unreal. As we move on to lap 12, and I am doing my best impression of um, defending like a lion, like uh, Checo Perez did back in Hungary. I am trying to be the new defence minister. By now you can see um, in another six laps, Ocon's gained another um, six seconds to me. And uh, Danny Rick, oh, I'm doing my best to keep Danny Rick way behind as I cannot let him beat me this race. Cannot. I am definitely going to pick next lap. Um, as Danny Rick is coming for me big time. Um, as he sends one, and nope, not today. That door is absolutely shut. Gotta get past him. Gotta keep going. Cannot let him get by me. Uh, I need those um, points. Although. I think there's three races to go before, maybe four races to go before we get given the acclaim. Danny Rick is absolutely smashing me in qualifying. Um, they all are, to be fair. 
uh, but when it comes to the race it's that little bit of uh, time where I can gain back but unfortunately today P11 I think is the best that I can hope for um, I can't, there's no chance unless we get a safety car unless uh, Ocon retires I cannot see me gaining 12.7 uh, 12.7 back to get in touch with the grid um, especially when you've got a turn like uh, this and then the AI takes off um, and you'll see it every time uh, look how much speed Ricardo has gained to me and that's even with out uh, DRS when when they gain DRS it's as if they've got rocket ships on their back <laughs> which is quite fun um, but yeah I know for a fact EA are looking to uh, to patch it and, and hopefully it, it'll come back it'll come back good but right now it's not much fun not much fun at all and even if I was currently running um, fully upgraded car uh, the issues would still currently be the same which uh, isn't great isn't great at all but like I said this is a, a shorter video uh, today because obviously I included the um, time attack in for the Pirelli hot lap hope you enjoyed it uh, I yeah I'm on the fence at the moment with my team I really really am um, I'm gonna keep on going I'm gonna keep on playing it uh, hoping that I can, you know, continue to find my love for it. Um, hopefully, that they'll get a patch up soon, um, because I'm not going to turn down the AI difficulty, um, because that would make it not a challenge. But then it is making it not a challenge, uh, and then absolutely ripping it. Because in order for me to get a challenge out of it, or to get on the same part with AI, I have to turn it down. Um, at least 30 levels and I don't want to do that because um, work hard and then when you get to the front when you, when you turn it down all those levels um, you can get to the front but then you absolutely annihilate absolutely annihilate them and it's just not, not much of a challenge it's um, yeah it is what it is uh, but guys, I am going to leave you with the rest of the video. I am fighting two McLarens. I am trying my hardest to keep them behind. Um, I will continue to keep try my hardest to keep them behind because they cannot get past. And that's not just Norris. That's Danny Rick as well because McLaren. Um, but yeah. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Uh, let me know what you think of the AI. Let me know if you think I'm wrong. Um, I've enjoyed uh, doing this. I really have. Uh, really enjoyed Miami. Um, hopefully next season uh, we'll be able to come back with a bigger, better, um, badder car, uh, one that actually can can race in a straight line. But uh, yeah, this has been my team, guys. And wherever you are in the world today, hope you're good. Hope you're well. Have a good one. Remember to do all that good stuff. I click the like button, hit that subscribe button. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>
seven seconds.
1.6 seconds. Okay, we've only got one lap of fuel remaining. the driver standings have changed. Charles Leclerc, currently leading the championship standings, extends his lead even further with this result. Well, after an incredible day of racing, who was your driver of the day, Ant? I think for driver of the day, I'd probably pick Lando Norris. He lived up to every inch of his reputation today, and I think he'll be going home, quite rightly, a bit proud of himself. Let's move on to the constructors. Ferrari continue to extend the gap at the top of the table. Meanwhile, good work from Aston Martin this weekend, who pushed themselves further up the order. After an event like that, who knows what the sport has in store for us next time out. Be sure to join us once again as we continue to bring you all the excitement of Formula One. <laughs>